Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. We got a little surprise for you today. We've just built this. It's nothing special. It's definitely not fancy. But uh, the reason why we're doing this is because where we may have to get on this project that we're working is we may have to go way back on some four wheeler trails and stuff to maybe work on equipment or to do different types of things to tractors. So here's what we got. We had this trailer. It was just sitting around. So we got it, got this little toolbox. Uh, we had this Honda generator slash welder combo, which is amazing. Uh, we've used it, I've, I haven't welded a whole lot, but I've welded enough to know what's a good welder and what's a bad welder. And this, this welder is one of the best I've ever used. It's really good. We've had it mm, probably 20 years or so and pulled it out of the barn, cleaned the carburetor, got it started running perfect. And the reason why we first got this, because we had this air compressor and we thought, well, we'll just get that air compressor and use this guy to run it. Well, let me tell you something. You need a generator way bigger than this. That, that's a 4,000 watt generator. And I'm gonna tell you, a 4,000 watt generator will not touch a 1.8 horsepower uh, air compressor, just in case you're wondering. Don't go waste your money and waste your time on anything uh, 4,000 watt or less because it just, it kills it dead. And uh, that, that, really, that really surprised me. So then, every, then we started looking at what size we did need to run an air compressor that size. And we found out that we needed, what was it Matt? 6,000 watt starting power? At least 6,000 watt starting power. So we made our way over to the Harbor Freight and we bought this guy. Uh, 9,000 watt startup, 7250 uh, run power, and it is perfect. And to be honest, when I started looking uh, at the engine, it is identical. There's nothing different about it from this Honda engine to this Predator engine. It's the same exact same exact thing so we bought this so we have oh we have fifteen hundred dollars in the setup and we have an, a generator a big generator big enough to run anything we're going to run including that little sucker um, that just blew my mind that you got to have that much wattages or whatever to run a stupid air compressor but we have a, a generator a big generator we have another generator that's also a welder and an air compressor. And toolbox has all of our tools, air hoses, lubes, grease guns, slash everything. So we'll take this with us. And if we need to get way back on this property and get a tractor back in there with a flat tower or whatever we need, uh, we have this trailer. And I know there's some, there's gonna be those guys. Oh, I need to get your truck, flatbed, blah blah blah. Well, a truck and a flatbed with all this stuff on it is. If anybody's priced them lately, they know that that's just unrealistic right now. So for fifteen hundred dollars, we got set up to do anything we need to do. And uh, so this is our our poor boy flatbed welder tool truck is what this is, and we can hook it. We can hook this trailer up to a side-by-side -side and go way back in these four-wheeler trails and stuff where we're working and be able to get to our stuff this way. So that's just a little little look at our poor boy tool trailer. Like and subscribe. Comment on what you might have done different or what you like about it. Let me know. Thank you.